Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in really quick and make a super quick video for you um, sharing about an analogy that I thought about the other day. Um, I know that a lot of you guys are new, which is awesome. So congratulations and welcome to the team. Um, and I know that there's a lot of information, but I want you to do one thing for me is take the word overwhelm out of your head. Um, just like any job, you have a, you know, a load of information that you take time learning. You go through training, which is what we do. And the difference is, is that as a coach, it's, it's about your life and it's more than just like pushing papers at a job. So, you know, you get started right away. You, you go through training, but you kind of just like learn as you go. You don't like soak in all this information and then wait till you know everything and get started because when you do that, you're not going to go anywhere. Like you just, you're on information overload. So that's why I always say like keep it simple and you know, just do the vital behaviors and just follow a power hour and then you learn as you go. And so the analogy that I thought of was it's kind of like driving a stick. If you guys have ever driven a stick, you know, in the beginning you have the clutch, the gas, the brake, and the stick shift, and your wheel, and your blinker, and all these things that you have to like do all at once. And I, my first car was a stick shift. And so I was like, I, it stressed me out because I'm like, how am I supposed to do all this at, all at once? And well, I, I, like, I legit thought that I would never get it. I was like, this is too much to do all at once. And then just a couple days into it of practicing, it got easier. And I was like, okay, I can do this. And you just keep practicing and keep practicing and it keeps getting easier. And then eventually I was like a pro. It becomes second nature and you like hit that clutch and you shift gears like it's no thing. Like it's not even something you even think about. And you end up being on the phone and eating food, like I, that's what I was always doing because I worked a nine to five and I went to school from six to 10. And I was like traveling all the time. My campus, I had like multiple campuses that I went to. Hold on, baby. Um, I had multiple campuses that I went to. My work was like, you know, I don't know, like 30 minutes away from school and I was always eating on the go. So I would like be driving studying sometimes super not safe but you know that's my point is is that like eventually you'll end up be able to like drive stick and eat and talk on the phone and study all at once and it's like not even anything you think about anymore kind of like when you guys look at me you're like man I've had this a couple of you <laughs> you're like all in the same wavelength because you're like I don't know how you do it um, and I'm just like I use that analogy I, in the beginning, like I've been doing this for two and a half years. Um, in the beginning, I was like, whoa, this is a lot of stuff, you know? But I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna tackle it one piece at a time. And the number one thing you need to focus, is, focus on is your own health and fitness. Um, drinking your Shakeology, doing your workout, sharing about it, um, helping other people, inviting people along your journey with you, um, and never giving up, you know? like. Don't just quit because a couple people say no. People, like I've had people say no who are now coming around two and a half years later or still haven't come around yet. And, and I have been, like I have held my health and, you know, my physical change for two and a half years now. And I was able to quit my job and, you know, I supported my family for six months just with Beachbody. I'm able to travel and people still don't come around and maybe they'll wait till five years. You know, like I know that Amy's been in the business for five years, my coach, and she's now having people coming around from like, you know, the beginning. So, you know, just don't give up and, and don't base your self-worth or your thought of how you're doing in this business by those who say no. Those are people who just don't get it. Duke. They just don't get it, so you have to show them. Sometimes people need to see. Hold on. Sometimes people need to see you do it, and they need proof from you. And um, some people just will start off right away with you. So it all depends, but think of it as driving a stick. In the beginning, it's like 
you think it's impossible to be able to hit the clutch and the gas and the brake and the shifting and hold the wheel all at once, but then it's second nature to you, just like doing your vital behaviors. Like for me, you know, like inviting, writing posts, uh, doing my workouts and eating healthy, that stuff is like second nature to me now. And so when I do team calls and I have GSR calls and I have, um, I do trainings and I do extra stuff like a website and blogging and blah, blah, blah. Um, all that stuff is like additional things that you don't really need to focus on right now because you're new and you have the team and you're just starting and you need to build your foundation. So I hope this was helpful. And, um, you know, I, I want to show you guys what's possible. Like I didn't quit. And, you know, if you're having struggles in the beginning, don't quit. Just keep figuring it out. Like, no, Duke, sorry. Know that if somebody else can do it, it's like common sense that you can do it too. Hold on. Okay. So know that if somebody else did it, there's no way that you could not do it. That just proves that if someone else can do it, you can do it too. And the only thing, the only thing that's different between you and somebody else is you. Um, everybody has the same exact opportunity. Everybody starts as signing up a coach with, you know, just a coach with no coaches under them and learning the business and learning how to hit success club and learning how to talk to people. Everybody starts there. Everyone, every single coach, like the top coach, the millionaires, everyone started where you are right now. So know that if all these other people can do it, so can you. There's no reason why you can't. And the only thing that will keep you from going for it is yourself and what's in here. That's why you need to do personal development. That's why you need to lean on the team. That's why you need to do these programs and to be connected to the network because you need to have conviction in what you're doing. You need to really believe in what you're doing and really believe in why you're doing it and why you're here and what you want for your life and don't take no for an answer. So I really hope this helps you today, and I'd love to hear your takeaways and comments below. But I hope you're, you're having a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys later.